Hello everyone, Victor is here and in this video I want to talk about a way how we can move the double bond. Well, from the synthetic standpoint, from the synthetic perspective, there is no a simple reaction how we move the double bond, which means that we are always going to have some sort of an intermediate uh, which will allow us to relocate our double bond from one position to another one. So thinking about methods like that, thinking about reactions like that, the first thing that I'm going to always analyze is that, okay, I have a double bond over here. How do I make my double bonds? And we know that we make double bonds generally via the elimination reactions. So there are two possible predecessors that I can use in order to make that double bond. I can do an elimination where the leaving group X is sitting over here, or another possibility will be if I have something with my leaving group sitting right over here like that. So thinking about those two possible predecessors, the first thing that comes to my mind is that in order to get this molecule over here, it means that I would have to have a double bond to begin with because there is no way I can easily put a leaving group onto the end of the molecule like that. I know the uh, radical hydrohalogenation reactions, uh, maybe hydroboration oxidation reactions, those things that put the functional group onto the less substituted carbon of the molecule, but in order to do those, I need to have a double bond to begin with, which means that, well, I need to start with a double bond and that kind of a closed circle, which means that this is not going to be a good option for us. So I am left with this tertiary leaving group over here. And what I'm seeing right away is that if I take my starting material, this molecule over here, and I were to treat that molecule with some sort of a hydrogen halide like HBr or maybe HCl, the fact that I have a tertiary carbon right over here will put my uh, leaving group right over there. Well, it's going to be a nucleophile if I do the uh, hydrohalogenation, but that will put my X on that carbon, which means that if I start from here, I react that with HX, I am going to end up, per Markovnikov rule, if you want to think about it this way, but I'm going to end up with a molecule that looks like that, which is exactly the same molecule as I have as a predecessor for my double bond. So when it comes to reactions where you are trying to move the double bond, that essentially means that you are going to convert that double bond into a different functional group that can also serve as our leaving group, and then we're going to do an elimination reaction. So in this case, if I take this reaction and I assemble it from the very beginning, what I'm going to do, I will start with my starting material, this molecule, I will treat that with something like, let's say, HBr, and that is going to give me the corresponding bromide. Now, in order to get a double bond at the less substituted position over here, that is the Hoffman double bond, I need to use a bulky base. So I can use something like potassium torbutoxide, or maybe LDA or something like that. So as you can see, moving double bond is actually quite simple for as long as you remember that there got to be an intermediate and that intermediate should have a leaving group so you can first form that molecule and then, the, and then you perform the elimination reaction. As simple as that. Hopefully this quick Q&A answers some of the questions that you have about synthesis. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. And of course, if you have any feedback or have suggestions for future videos, do let me know in the comments below as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates. Watch this video next and I will see you tomorrow.